Today, let's get to listen to stories of triumph amidst failures, courage despite fear, strength through weakness, and even the occasional hopeful cheer from personal punny experiences. I am your host, RK, and this is the Better You Podcast. What is up, fam? Welcome to another episode of the Better You Podcast. Coach RK here joining you all, and thank you so much for being with me today. (laughs) All right. Now, um, we have been so far answering a lot of different questions for the past couple of weeks. And today is no different. We are again answering another question or common Google research question about starting out your fitness journey or just being able to stay consistent with being physically active and having better health and fitness. So for today's question, most often than not, you or even I myself um, have had this question in mind. And the question is, to gym or not to gym? (laughs) That is the question. Um, I think a good amount of these questions come in different you know situations that come up especially with a busy lifestyle so if you are the type of person who basically has so much things to do each and every day and your schedule is quite hectic sometimes there is that triggered idea in your mind especially when you know that your day is jam-packed you ask yourself will i actually be able to go to the to the gym and would me not go not going to the gym be you know a cause for my progress to stop or for my program not to be something that i cannot do so um yeah so so many ideas already circulating just from one question right and to me pretty much um through experience working with clients and through my own experience as well sometimes the question not really is going to the gym or not it's really you having that choice in your heart (laughs) to continue having to train the day that you said you will train so it's pretty much still um included in your commitment and you staying consistent so to me the first question or the first answer to the problem is are you willing to skip the day of training or are you really insistent on having to train now um if you do have like a very busy work schedule i you know that's that's something that i have also been able to experience myself sometimes it really kind of pushes you to really have to decide what is more of a priority for yourself is it your sanity for the day because you already had such a big such a busy busy schedule or is it you know really still trying to push yourself and challenge yourself to stay committed to the process all right so that's probably one of the things that you would like to consider so let's say you have such a jam-packed week ahead of you and you would commonly train let's say every other day so maybe four times a week all right so in the span of that entire week as i mentioned your schedule is really dramatically busy and being able to Um, make time for your usual training schedule is going to be hard so in in itself you have to really consider 
am I willing to put in the time and be stressed out and all of the mindset issues that would possibly come up and not just mindset mind you um also when we have very stressful and busy days sometimes we don't feel it but oftentimes when you try to push yourself to go to training what do you feel you feel like your body is so drained that you can't even deal with a good training day all right especially if you have maybe stayed at training consistently already let's say you have been training for a span of two three months and then all of a sudden you have that spur in time with work or school where it's just suddenly a hell week for you you will really feel or you will experience that physically it's not just mentally physically you also fear um you also feel exhausted and being able to train is not really something that will be beneficial to you so i say that because i have experienced that and oftentimes i i don't want to scare you guys but oftentimes what is um equated to a stressful week is also your health deteriorating so oftentimes i do remember that a good amount of time when i start getting sick i rarely get sick um but during the times when i have like a really stressful week or a couple of weeks that are stressful and i just you know manage to push myself and go through go through the day and train what happens is shortly after that i will get sick so you know just just a little reminder for you guys um also an additional um idea that you you may want to consider if you want to go to the gym or not um so yeah for for that basic explanation <laughs> You know, um, what would be wise is to really just also focus on how you feel at the current, at your current state. So again, we we're saying this as an example, but oftentimes it's not just an example. It's actually a real life situation that you get to experience. And what is it really that you have to prioritize so that's that's the main um that's the main idea really or the main answer to the question that is in your mind about whether you should train or not in the gym now um i am specifically saying to gym or not to gym because a good amount of time many people really do um associate their consistent training with going to a, an actual facility it doesn't have to be like an actual weights gym it can be your yoga studio pilates studio whichever type of training that you have been consistently doing so to go there or not to go there is the question and oftentimes yeah that that is something that you know may seem to be a little simple for other people but if you're really getting a hang of it if you're really really staying consistent and committed to it sometimes it feels like you feel so guilty that you don't get to go right there's also that factor so again it, this may seem to be like a very simple scenario a very simple question to answer but there are just so many different factors and many different obstacles that many of us have to go through so it's not a simple thing right um also to consider as well is so to gym or not to gym but when you say not to gym that won't necessarily mean that you would have quit or you would have not 
than your training routine for the day. There's also an extra option um, on the side, which is to do your training or an alternative program in case you cannot go to an actual facility or an actual gym. And that, to me, I think is an answer to this question that most people normally just scrap off and feel like it is something that, you know, they can't really do because they, you know, they can't really do their, their training routine. <laughs> if they don't go to the gym. But let's say you are blessed to have your own small equipment or gym equipment at home, then that is, you know, already a check mark on your end. You will still be able to do your training routine, right? Now, for those of for those people who don't really have the equipment that they would usually um, use for their programming, as I mentioned, an alternative program that you can follow without you having to go to an actual facility would also be a great way for you to what? For you to still stay committed and still stay consistent with being physically active every day. Now, um, with that in mind, of course, some people will have a bit of, you know, a, bit, a, a little bit of a doubt in themselves if they would be able to, you know, still do their training routine or still push themselves and challenge themselves. Why? Because there's always this notion that if you don't go to an actual gym, you feel like you did nothing. Okay. So this is why an alternative program should be something that is still very close to the program or the training that you are currently doing. All right. So I know for a fact that some of you are going to say, oh, but that's going to be just like body weight training and I don't really have equipment. So, you know, I might as well just not train because it's not really going to help my progress. That is really not true, especially if you have that alternative program or option program maybe you have program a you can have a program b if you are working with a trainer they would possibly and probably give you that type of program if they know that you are a very very busy person they would always have an alternate program for you that you can do anytime anywhere all right if they're a very good trainer <laughs> they will give you that but let's say you are working on your own you know doing your own research I am fairly sure that you will be able to locate a program that you would easily be able to follow along to and take into consideration in addition to your current programming. And side note, my channel has a lot of follow along training routines. So hint, hint, you can always follow along to many of those challenges as well. And yeah, in addition to that, there are so many resources online that you can consider to look into that would be a great addition to your current programming. Now, some people think that, oh, if I um, move from one program to the next, it's gonna mess up my progress. It won't necessarily mess up your progress because as I mentioned in a previous episode, sometimes when you stick with a program and you get bored, what is an alternative solution to find a different type of programming or to cross train with a different type of program. So that in itself will actually be a great way for your body to get into shock mode again and tell you what the heck are we doing? All right. So your body will actually thank you for 
making a different type of stress to it or a different type of challenge, bringing a different type of stress and challenge to it because as I mentioned, our bodies are very, very smart and they are able to really, well, adjust to a physical type of challenge. So if you go from one program to the next, as long as the programs aren't really like totally different, then it will actually be able to still help you with your progress. All right, guys. Now also to consider is some people actually do not prefer going to a gym. So if you're that type of person, kudos to you. Um, however, there's also in, in, in addition to this question of to gym or not to gym, there's also that idea of, you know, people who prefer going to the gym more and people who you know, feel like they can go to the gym sparingly. So if, if you have that type of um, idea in your head or if you're in that mindset, then to gym or not to gym would probably be like an easier um an easier question for you to answer but um for me it actually depends <laughs> again as i mentioned some people prefer the gym more some people feel like not going to the gym and still staying active through a different avenue is fine so um it it will depend on what you prefer um aside from your preference i myself um i do tell my clients that if you feel that the gym is not a place for you to train then by all means that's fine we can find an alternative way to have your training routine still be something that it, you, you can do consistently all right um i mentioned this because there's always and there will always be a debate of whether people should go to a gym or not and to me as i mentioned it depends on your own preference depends on your goals of course if you want to you know compete in strongman or powerlifting i suppose not being able to go to a facility would would be a bit hard unless you maybe invest on your own, own equipment and train at home but otherwise um to me i think a good balance of training inside a facility and having the ability to have your training be something that is convenient for you. It, it should be something that is well balanced. Um, a lot of people debate that, oh, if you don't go to the gym, it won't work. And again, I always tell people, don't feel immediately defeated that your progress will not move as best as it can without being a member of a gym all right um there's always that talk there's always that debate people always argue about it and to me <laughs> that should be something that should it should be something that people shouldn't really judge other people about all right um, to me, being able to go to a gym is something valuable, but also having to train without an actual facility is also something valuable. Both are valuable in their own ways, and both should actually be part of every person's lifestyle. That's what I believe. And yeah, quit. Quit having to tell other people otherwise because, again, all of us have our own unique stories, our own unique journeys to go through. So 
don't bother <laughs> don't bother pushing other people's opinions on well don't bother pushing your own opinions on somebody else's if especially if it's something that they did not ask of you all right <laughs> but anyway yeah so we're we're getting a little off topic but again to gym or not to gym is something that you can definitely definitely answer it may be today may be to gym tomorrow may be to gym again but in a couple of days maybe it's not to gym all right so i know it's, it's kind of a funny concept to look into but yes again if you are staying consistent if you are doing it as much as you can again don't be so <laughs> don't be so seriously bothered by it all right guys as long to me my advice is as long as you stay physically active again it is something that will help you despite the fact of a very exhausting and stressful week all right it will actually help you more than not helping you out at all all right remember doing or staying active is something that will also alleviate your stress all right so it's really always a good thing rather than you doing zero activity at all all right so that is today's rambling guys i hope that you got to think about um think about answering this question um in relation to your own current state and i hope that i helped you out in some way all right guys so again thank you for joining me in today's episode and if you have not been able to subscribe to the channel yet i hope that you do click on that subscribe button because it really does help the channel out and if you guys have any questions comments or if you have particular questions that maybe you would like me to answer in future episodes please leave those all in the comment section and it wouldn't also hurt for you guys to like this episode if it really did help you out okay so again thank you guys for joining me in today's better you podcast coach rk here reminding you always to never give up on your movement journey because it's never too late to move bye guys see you again